Good morning, I'm Tyler Zima, product manager for Tillage Technology. Today we're standing in front of the MT7. Uh, so this is the new model that's gonna replace the 2100. So what the seven means is it refers to the number of standards that are on this. So there are four models. You have the five, seven, nine, and 11. The 11 is gonna be a new model from what was on the 2100. So that's an addition to the lineup. Also, there's gonna be three point and true drawn. So the five, nine, five, seven, and nine are gonna be three point. Your seven, nine, and 11 are gonna be your drawn units. And as I mentioned, this is gonna be replacing the 2100 model. So on the MT, really the main differences are your wear components. So the wing on the, on the back of this uh, shank, that's all made out of carbide material. What has changed into the new MT models is that has been incorporated into the shin, the clip, and the shank itself. So just giving that more durability. Now there's two different shanks you can buy. There's a three quarter inch, which is on this. That's gonna allow the material to fall back into the trench as you rip through. The wider one at an inch and a quarter is gonna leave that trench open and give you uh, more water penetration and just uh, maintaining that water a little better throughout the field. So some things that haven't changed from the 2100, the Coulter wheel up front still has 600 pounds of trip pressure. And also on the rear, the shank's gonna be at 3,200 pounds from a cushion trip force, and the shear bolt is gonna be at 7,200. Now, the other thing is, this is gonna go 10 to 16 inches in the ground. Uh, from a ripping standpoint, it's about 30, 40 horsepower per shank at four to five miles an hour. So for more information on the Minimal Till Ripper, please reach out to your local RDO dealership and talk to your account manager.